Uh, let's start with a circle in the middle of the page. Um, and and then bring it down a little bit like that. So you've got a kind of a pointed end to it. Uh, two little stalks sticking up there with squashed circles. Let's squash that way. Those are the eyes. Like that. Um, and, oh, golly, I've... Uh, this is the third time I've drawn this now, and it, I, I don't know, I thought it was going to be really easy, and it's not. Legs. Legs down at the bottom. He has about eight legs, so you're going to want them to go like that. Okay. So, and then you're going to have two behind, which will go like that. And two behind there, again, if, I mean, if you get bored, you can probably leave some of them out. And two behind there again, which will go like that. Now the main bit, that, and, and then he wants a kind of bit of frilliness around the edge. And I made a real hash with that last time, the last version of this I did. Now you need two lines coming out sideways. And, and in fact you want them to be kind of wobbly at the end. And then you want two coming up again like that. And they need to be wobbly at the end as well. And then this is the big claw bit. Okay, so on the inside, draw a curve all the way up. And then on that side, draw one halfway. And then draw it across to the middle. And then wiggle up. This one, go all the way up in a nice curve. This goes halfway up, across. Oh, that's probably across to there. And then wiggle, wiggle up. Then this bit goes up. And down to join it like that. Let's move that a bit there. So we go like that. And this is because it's not like a pair of scissors. It's more like a, a, a pair of garden secateurs. That it's like an anvil. The way they cut and chew and bite and things. Um, and there we go. Let's get drawing. So uh, I'm going to use a sharpie this time just for a change. And let's draw the eyes first because I like to get I like to get the character going. And then it kind of, I find the drawing starts talking to me if I get get the eyes in. And then, uh, the, you know, the character starts talking to me, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And and I put his smile in as well. And, uh, and then he kind of helps me draw the rest of it. Uh, there's the eyes. Put the body in behind there. Like that. And you can kind of, kind of lightly draw this kind of wriggly wiggly bit down on the side like that as well. That's kind of the crabbiness, isn't it? Uh, let's draw here. Follow all around those lines that you've done there. All around there. Follow all the way up to the top. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle down, across and back. All the way up to the top. Wiggle, wiggle down. Just follow around those lines. Follow around those lines. All the way up to the Top, wiggle, 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 down and across. Up, wiggle, 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 down. That's easy. Now here's the boring bit. Hundreds of legs. Okay, draw two stalks out with a kind of a wobble at the end. Two stalks with a wobble. Then do exactly the same with these. You go wobble, wobble, back. Out, wobble, wobble, and back. We go wobble, wobble, and back. Wobble, wobble, and back. Wobble, wobble, and back. And we go... Down here with a wobble, down here with a wobble, down there with a wobble at the end, like that. And it'll all come clear. Those are the feet stuck on the bottom there, like that. Those are his feet going out. Yeah! And then I'm going to give him just a little bit of kind of cross hatch. Well, it's not cross hatching because I'm not actually going to cross, but just a little bit to give him a bit of. Body. I think that's probably the best word for it. Just to make him look a bit more three dimensional. I think I can put some up the side there. Kind of shading that has. Ooh, little happy marks. And then we can maybe do a bit like that, which is kind of shading on, on the legs. It just helps you work out where they're coming out of the. Maybe do a bit like that as well. And then let's put in the seabed behind there and a few 
pebbles and stones and things like that. And we can maybe have some swishing kind of wavy kind of marks like that. Make it look kind of seasidey. And uh, I wonder if I can get some shading in under there as well like that. Does that make it look messy? I hope not. A cross hatch it, that's probably a bit better. And there's some cross hatching on one of the previous drawings, and it looked awful, but that was somewhere else. Okay, and now it's drawn. You can get the razor out, you can rub out all those pencil lines, and then when you've finished and all the pencil lines have gone, and it looks clear and wonderful, and people go, How did you do that? Because they won't know that you've done all that preparation underneath it, you see? How good is that? Okay. Have fun drawing crabs, or go out and catch some. Um, come back to the Shoe Rain of Drawing channel on YouTube, or go and visit my site at www.shoerainer.com. And if you really want to, come buy the book. I'm sure you can get it on Amazon. It's called Nip Nip, with exclamation marks. Okay, take care. See you soon. Keep drawing. Bye.